Uncle Tim's. It's all good. Hi, I'm Uncle Tim, and this is Wednesday's Word with Uncle Tim. Today's word is neighbor. What is a neighbor? Well, let me tell you a little story to illustrate what a neighbor is. So there was a man traveling down the road of life, and it just so happened that some bad guys came upon him. And these guys were really bad. When they saw him, they attacked him, they beat him up. I mean, they really beat him up. They stole all of his belongings, and then they left him on the side of the road for dead. After a little while, along came a priest walking down that same road. And he looked up and saw this man lying on the side of the road, all bloodied and battered and basically dying there on the side of the road. And he looked at him and he thought, Hmm, that looks pretty bad. Wait a minute. I think I recognize that guy. He comes to my church sometimes. I always wondered about that guy. He seemed pretty sketchy. I wonder what he did to get himself in this situation. Well, it looks a little too messy for me. I don't want any part of it. So he walked over to the other side of the road and passed right on by. Some time passed and along came another man. And this man was from the same church as the priest. And he was walking along. He looked up and saw the man lying there and thought, Wow, that looks really bad. I wonder, maybe I should help that guy. Hey, I recognize that guy. He comes to our church sometimes. Yeah, maybe. Well, I'm not sure if I should help him or not. And about that time, he gets a text on his phone from the priest. And the priest says, Hey, I just saw so-and-so, and he's gotten himself into a bad situation, and we don't want that to have anything to do with our church. So, if you happen upon him, stay clear. And so with that, the other man crossed over to the other side of the road, and he too walked on by. Some more time passed, and along came another man. Now this man was a stranger in the country. In fact, the country he was from was bitter enemies with the current country he was traveling in. He looked over and saw this man lying there, bloody and beaten, and he immediately had compassion on him. He went over to him. He poured oil on his wounds. He gave him some wine to soothe his pain. And he dressed his wounds with bandages. And then he put him in his car and carried him to an inn. He put him up for the night and took care of him that whole night to make sure that he was well and cared for and that he was going to be all right. The next morning, the traveler from another country had to be on his way. But before he left, he went to the innkeeper and gave him money and said, take care of this man, and if this doesn't cover it, when I return, I will cover the cost and pay whatever I owe you. So who was the true neighbor here? The first two men who did nothing to help and actually went out of their way to not help? Or the third man who immediately helped him? Obviously the answer is, the third man was the neighbor. So remember that as you're traveling through life, treat everyone as if they were your neighbor and have compassion.